Hello guys, welcome back. There are many use cases of ChatGPT API. I have already done one video related to chat PDF where you can chat with PDF. And I found another really good project or use case of ChatGPT API where you can translate the human readable text into SQL code. And from SQL code, you can translate that back to the human readable format. I was going through Twitter and I found a post from Git saying that announcing my new weekend project, Human to SQL Translator. It says that it converts the natural language queries into SQL code effortlessly with AI. As I said, it is using ChatGPT API behind the scene. And there is the website link and it is open source. The good part of open source is that you can go through the code and help also or contribute also to make that project better. Now let's get, let's click the link provided here. It takes to the website and you can see here, it's quite simple. In the, here it says, okay, start on GitHub. After we click this, it takes us to the GitHub page. And if you scroll down here, you, the good part of this is you can even run locally on your machine. If we use the website that is linked here, that is linked here, sqltranslate.app, we are using the open AI key of it and we she has to pay for that but if you want to do it locally you can just clone the repo and then you can go inside do the npm install and provide your api key open ai api key and then start running on the browser so yeah this is really good project and let's go and see how it actually performs now let's here is two interface here it says human to sql translator uh, but because in the beginning, maybe she was just trying to make from text to SQL code. So the name is here. But now she implemented another feature, which is from SQL code to human text. So here it says text. We can write some text and we translate to SQL. But if you press this up and down arrow, then it says that, okay, now you can provide SQL query and translate to natural language. Let's refresh the page. And now let's first uh, put some input and see what it translates to SQL code. I have written here simple text. Let me copy the text and paste here. Let me make this little bit bigger. So here I said SQL statement that selects only the distinct values from the country column in the customer's table. So now let's translate to SQL. You see here select distinct country from customers it's that simple you can play around with many other normal text uh, and translate that to sql so now let's also use one more text what i am saying is sql statement that contains an inner join that selects records that have matching values in both tables i'm just saying both tables i'm not specifying the two table names here let's see if it translate or not okay it even recognizes this select all from table one inner join table two on table one dot column equals to table two dot column so this is how you can use by the way here when i tried before it gave some error and i need to provide the name of the table but here it takes the table name by itself so let's refresh this page and go with translate to natural language part you can just type anything here as the example is also here. You can just say select all from customers. Just a simple example for now. And let's translate to natural language. It says that, okay, get all information from the customers table. That's simple, right? Let's also give another statement here. I select customer name, city from customers. Let's try to translate this. Yeah, it gets the customer name and city from the customer's table. This is the simple select statement. Now let me provide another statement which also has uh, order by and left join into it. And let's say that, okay, translate the, this to natural language. Yeah, you see here, it says that, okay, get the customer name. We are saying select customers customer name and order ID, orders order ID. So it says, get the customer name and order ID from the customer's table and join it with the orders table based on the customer ID. So we said here from customers, left join orders on customers.customer customer ID. 
and order a customer ID and order the result by customer name. So we have written here order by customer or customer name. This is really good. And let's say that we just copy the text here. Let's refresh the page. So the uh, session is refreshed and let's provide the text and let's say it to create the SQL code for us. This is what I was saying before. You see, sometimes it just hangs there and it doesn't work. If I again refresh this page and if I control V, translate to SQL, it doesn't work. So if I do again translate, it doesn't work. Again, last try, let's refresh the page. Let's provide the text, translate to code. Now it works. What I want to say here is as I experienced the same thing before, if it doesn't work one time, just refresh the page and try it again and again. Because it has to do the call, API call to open AI. And sometimes there is some glitch and it doesn't work. By the way, one good part is she has already implemented this dark and light theme because I prefer working on the dark theme. It was really good for me. And you can, if you want the light theme, you can go and change from here. And down here, it says uh, Twitter link. You can go to the Twitter. It links to our page that I showed before. And there is the GitHub link. So yeah, this is just a simple use case. I find it really helpful. And mainly if you are working in the data science field, you will be involved with SQL statements quite often. So instead of trying to go to the Google and or any other source engines and asking queries, we can directly come to this website and just ask some text and translate that to the SQL query. Or if you don't know some queries and you want to know what that query is doing, you can just provide the code and then it will translate to the normal human readable text. It seems that it does not work all the time. And it, when there is complex queries, there is some problem, but this is just the beginning of this project and it is open source. So you can contribute to the project. By the way, if you want to contribute to the project, there is the instructions also here. It says you need to fork the repository, create a new branch, make your changes, push your changes to your fork branch and submit a, a pull request. You can help improve this project in the future. I would like to thank Kate for creating this website. Although this is just a weekend project for her, I hope it is going to help thousands or not even millions of people out there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.